cruise mode on uh, the autopilot software. Uh, we had tried focus mode with Leechy using the Leechy Magic Leash as a way to dynamically track a subject and we had problems with that not working as advertised. For one thing the, the uh, gimbal tilt did not seem on the Phantom 3 to uh, adjust properly or accurately. Uh, as the altitude of the aircraft changed. Uh, and the other big drawback was the joystick reference. Uh, one of the things that I really like about cruise mode in uh, autopilot is the fact that you can set an absolute joystick reference. And right now I've got the joystick reference for this mission set to be due south, uh, and I'm facing due south. Uh, <clears throat> so then even if I walk around uh, and turn and face different directions with, uh, with the, uh, the iPad here, my joystick reference is still going to mean that forward on the right joystick takes me due south, back on the right joystick takes me uh, due north, and left is uh, due east and right is due west. And I kind of like that. It keeps me in a, uh, a little easier way to be, to be oriented as the actual rotation of the aircraft changes all the time uh, to keep the, uh, the point of interest in focus. Now, what I'm doing this time is just going to be a point of interest focus where the focus strategy is subject and the subject is a POI. Uh, I don't have a good iOS mobile device to try airspace uh, on, and it's not available for Android. My mobile phones are all Androids. So, uh, anyway, that's what we're going to do. And we'll fire up the aircraft here. Go ahead and take off, and then we'll engage the cruise line. Looks very good. Just gain some altitude. Okay, let's come back over it. Let's see, how do we do 
of interest to me. Now let's go up a little and let's go back a lot. How we do? 83% battery. That looks really good. Okay, cool. Now let's pound around here. Absolute, that ought to just keep right on going east. And then this ought to come straight south. And it does. Okay, and then let's go back to west. It'll be kind of a zip line almost here. And that works just like charm. Yes, it does. Okay. Go back east. Okay. Way cool. All right. Let's lose a little altitude. Hard deck. I'm not sure where I've got the hard deck seat, so. Okay. Cool beans. This is working like it's supposed to. With the point of interest, this works really well. I've got, I had the point of interest set at the front of the house and I moved it, now it's on me. And, uh, as we fly, do south. Gimbal stays right on me. And as we continue south, we will swing around and stay focused on me. Ah, no, that just works like it's supposed to. Now, if I want to go east, that's this way. I really like that absolute comfort capture. They actually enjoy it. Okay. Now let's go north.
tails up just a hair. Okay, look forward. see what we can do with uh, some more experimentation with leaching, but uh, the big problem that I had with it was <clears throat> it said that you could start with the joystick reference to be equal to the aircraft heading. So if the aircraft was pointed south, then the initial joystick reference would be south. But that you could change it in real time by moving the yaw uh, joystick, the, the left joystick in the direction, left and right, that would normally yaw the, the aircraft. However, when in that mode and you operate the left joystick left and right, it yaws the aircraft. It doesn't change the joystick reference heading at all. So that didn't function as, as uh, advertised. And again, it could have been something I did wrong, but it certainly was very frustrating trying to uh, to get a usable, workable uh, joystick reference when in focus mode with Litchi. But uh, the cruise mode with autopilot just works great. And to me, the big uh, overriding benefit is the ability to set that absolute joystick reference so I can lay down a grid pattern where forward is always south towards me is, or backward on the joystick is always north. And uh, that, for me, for my head, just seems to work the best. So uh, I guess that's it. <laughs>